today corresponds to Frisk's fall. We are a hundred years after our death, and we are alive. Huh? I wouldn't be surprised if we find her outside somewhere. What? A hundred years? So, Frisk... Hey, wait a moment. Jara! Hmm? You killed me! I remember it clearly! Ah, yes, well, it does not matter. Frisk killed everyone. Yes, but... You did. <sighs> Forget it. That timeline was messed up anyway. It's hard to forget. But now, I'm worried about Frisk. What's the deal with the soul you were talking about before? Nothing. I don't care anymore. Look around. You must understand where we are and why. The situation gets interesting. Hmm. So, what should we do? But, I don't understand why we are kids. If a hundred years have passed... Hmm? What? Sickness hits the prince and princess, desperately looking for cure. Dr. Gaster magically froze the bodies of the children, waiting to find a solution. Come on, Chara! Don't keep everything to yourself! Make me participate! Here, read it. But, but, frozen? Illness? What kind of illness was it? Why weren't we informed immediately? And this, coincidentally, happened a hundred years ago. We are a hundred years old, as One hundred years passed without them knowing what we had. Do you think that they'd tell us, seeing their unsuitability? Mom and Dad wouldn't keep such a thing from us. And if they did, it wasn't on purpose. Do you think that asking would be a problem? Our parents were the first to stay shut for all this time. Do you really believe that we were the victims of the sickness, Azriel? No other inhabitant got it. Only us. If they want to stay shut, we have to ask elsewhere. But let's start from them. I was having a chat with Victor, but he suddenly got up and returned with files and odd stuff in his arms. I couldn't understand what he was saying about it. I just nodded. Oh dear, don't feel like that. Well, it's true that his mind is always on his work. That poor man has to be going through so much. Every time I talk to him, I have the feeling that he's soulless. His words are used and reused. Has he always been like this? I think so. Despite him having his brothers, Alphys, us, he is a man being consumed in front of our eyes. Yes. <laughs> Mom! Dad! There's no need to go running off like that! My children, what are you doing here? You look shook. Something happened? Well, Char and I, we have some questions. Of course, my child. You can ask anything. Is something wrong? We found a certain thing between the books. What are you talking about? Can you explain? <clears throat> well, you already know my children. What do you mean? It means that you already know. You were put in a coma due to poisoning. We didn't find a solution, and Gaster thought it was necessary. Right. It's just... Can't you tell us something more? Did you discover who did it? <sighs> Unfortunately not, my children. But anyway, now it's in the past. And you don't have to worry. We're just happy to have you with us again. Yes, my children. Don't think about it anymore, okay? Luckily, you have also been saved thanks to Victor. Thanks, Mom. Dad. Now we're going out to play. Hmm. Oh, it's okay. Have fun. See you later! Pie was delicious, by the way. Ah, yes. Prince Asriel or Princess Chara? Would you like a donut? It's only 9,999 gold. No thanks! Everything's pretty much like in the previous timelines. We're also full of happiness and hope. Is it because of us? Howdy, Frisk! Wake up! Wake up! 
She prefers to live here instead of our home. Great. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> what a bunch of morons! Well, awakened in your second day in the underground. Not a moron! S second day. Oh, right. It's a new day. Finally, after a year. You're here. You're alive. I, I did it? I saved you? Yes, you did it. Even though you didn't want to listen to me. Forgive me. I know I hurt you in the pre- Forget it. I warned you, but you preferred doing it your way. At least you found this underpath. I don't know what happened between you two, but Fris, why did you run away yesterday? Why did you sleep here? Don't think that you're gonna hide here for the rest of your life. <laughs> this is my house. I like it. Anyway, I I'm sorry about yesterday. I was a little confused. And you already know that. This world... I don't know what happened. I, I only remember that I used all of my energy to reset. And when we touched the button together, I woke up here. I thought it was all the same, but in reality, everything changed. Together? Chara, you didn't tell me. It wasn't necessary for you to know every detail. Anyway, I don't know what you're trying to obtain by living here. I only wish to be alone. Forgive me, but I can't look at Lady Toriel and Sir Asgore in the eyes. I can't. Frisk, what's happening to you? You're not the Frisk I know. I'm not, Asriel. I did horrible things. I've been bad. Who of us hasn't been? Mm, listen, Frisk, about what we were saying before. When we woke up, we discovered that we had been frozen for a century due to a poisoning. We asked Mom and Dad, but they... Didn't say much. Come with us. We want to get to the bottom of this. I agree in strength and numbers. And at least we can get you out of this hovel. Huh? Poisoning? Frozen for a hundred years? Duh! What does this mean? I can't understand. You shouldn't even be alive, but you are. What about the plan? Did you do it? Eureza changed everything. Maybe uniting your determinations you twisted the timeline? We only know that because of what you did, this world was created. It looks like no plan has been done, and I can't be anything but happy about that. But we are missing major details. Now, do you want to know what's going on, or do you want to keep wasting time? Let's go. I want to discover what's going on, and most importantly, who poisoned you. But how did you heal? From what we read, Dr. Gaster was looking for a cure. That's all we know. We want to investigate, and we'd like you to join us. We would like that, but maybe we should split up so we can uncover more ground. Okay, also do some research. I'll go to the library in Snowden and see if I can find something. I'll call... Oh, I don't have Lady Toriel's phone anymore. There I'll go ask Alphys if she can give me one. Hmm, then take care of yourself, Frisk, okay? We're counting on you! We'll keep in touch. And we'll come to visit you soon. <sighs> okay, now I'm going- ah! <laughs> Ow! And then, Mr. Owl's orbital laser turns thoroughly disintegrated Fluffy Bunny's pathetically inferior defense infrastructure, causing a total systems meltdown. I don't remember this part. Are you sure you're reading it correctly? So much bloodshed. Fine, you win. You're never reading to him again. Happy? What? Why? My version was clearly superior. How dare you? Fluffy Bunny is sacred. Oh, good God. <laughs>